Support for Alzheimer's is on the way. One of the new laws this legislative session directs health officials to come up with a five year plan to study the disease's impact here and to provide more resources. It's an issue that touches so many of us, and our Robbie Owen spent time today with the story of a Mansfield mom who is turning worry into advocacy. Uh, gotcha. Working mom gotcha. Megan Bryant Where's wears many hats. Where's your belly? But Alzheimer's began breaking her heart. At 10, that's when her beloved Papa was diagnosed. He had this fish pond, and we would go hour after hour to feed those fish, <laughs> the poor fish. <laughs> then last year, she began noticing that her mother's memory was slipping. She lost her car in a parking lot, and she was having difficulty at work. I think because I have lost my grandfather, I was, I was kind of done laughing about it. I, am, I was afraid immediately. A mother was diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's at 53. She can't drive and she has lost her job and um, things have just, you know, kind of, they're just kind of snowballing and it's, we weren't expecting it at her age. According to the Alzheimer's Association, it is a disease that time will in some way bring to your door. More than 5.8 million Americans living with the disease. That number expected to jump to 14 million in the next 30 years. It's just surrounding me. I have to do something about it. So after contacting the Alzheimer's Association, Megan began visiting elected officials, pleading for more awareness and resources. Because the crisis for her family isn't coming, it's already here. Her father-in-law diagnosed three months ago. When I have a bad day, it's very frustrating. And it's kind of embarrassing at times because the simple things in life aren't simple anymore. And, um... Do you feel like you're just worried all the time? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I worry about the future, you know, just with my parents. And then I worry about the future for myself. And mostly I worry about the future for my daughter. Because... She has a long road ahead of her with this disease as well. In one way or another, so do we all. In Mansfield, Robbie Owens, CBS 11 News. And we do. So many connections. I mean, my grandmother on my mom's side, you know, dealt, we, we dealt with it. But what they're dealing with is, is generational, and it, and it keeps coming back and back. And that's, you know, an isolated case is difficult enough to deal with. Right. But when she sees what she's seeing within her own family, it's, it's incrementally harder. And I we think. do know it's such a cruel disease, not just for the patient, but for the caregiver. Yeah, the, the caregiver bears a huge burden, and we all know that.